In this video, we will discuss about simple and compound interest, Unit 3, Lesson 5 for the General Mathematics. Okay, so these are the things to understand. So first, we have, we need to differentiate simple and compound interest. Second, relate simple and compound interest in real life situations. Third, we need to solve problems involving simple and compound interest. Okay, so first concept in, under this topic is about the interest. Okay, no? so it is a fraction or percentage that is being inputted to a sum of money. So therefore, for example, you are the lender or the borrower. So expect that the money you borrow or lend is much higher than the principal amount. Okay, so that is because of the interest. So simple interest is a quick and easy method of calculating the interest charge on a loan. So simple interest is determined by multiplying the daily interest rate by the principal by the number of days that elapse between payments or the term. Okay? So this is the formula for the simple interest. So the interest charge a borrower or earned by a lender for full term of loan is defined as I sub S is equal to PRT. Where I sub S is simple interest. P is the principal amount or the initial amount of money. Rate and T is for the term or time in years. Okay. So basically, if the time given is in months or days, we need to convert them into years. Okay. So for example, we have here, a bank offers 0.75% annual simple interest rate for a particular deposit. How much interest will be earned? If 500 pesos is deposited in the savings account for two years, okay. So in this problem, we need to first find the information, okay. So first is the principal, so we have 500,000. Next is the rate, so the rate is 0.75%. So we need to convert this into decimal, so we have 0.075. So the time is two years. And we need to find the interest, okay? So using the formula, I sub S is equal to PRT. Substitute the different informations to the formula. So we have I sub S equals 500,000 times 0.0075 times 2. So we have the interest of 7,500. So therefore, the interest earned is 7,500. So, interest in savings account in the Philippines is subjected to 20% withholding tax, okay? And at the same time, savings account are covered by the Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation or PDIC up to 500,000. So, this means that the money in the savings account is insured up to 500,000 in the Philippines. So, next problem. So, we have here, how much interest is charged when 120,000? is borrowed for 9 months, simple interest rate of 4.5%. Okay, so again, we need to find the information. So we have the principal, 120,000. We have the rate, 4.5% or 0 0.045. The time, we have 9 over 12. So since in this problem, our time is written in months, so we need to express these months into years. So, since there is 12 months in a year, so we need to divide 9 months in over 12, okay? So, to convert it into years. So, 9 over 12 is equal to 0 0.75 year, okay? Then, find the interest. So, using the formula, I sub S equals PRT, substitute the following values. So, we have 120,000 times 0 0.045 times 9 over 12. So, simplify. I sub S equals 4,050. So therefore, the simple interest charge is 4,050. Okay. So next, we need to complete this given table. So we can see that the following unknown is not just the interest, but also the principal, the rate, and the times. Okay. So in finding different unknown, we just need to derive it from the main formula of the simple interest. Okay, so for example, in the first column, or in the first row rather, no? so the unknown is the rate. So we have here the principal 20,000, time 3, and the interest is 3,000. Okay, so in order for us to find the rate, 
So we have the formula R equals I sub S equals PT. Okay? So this formula is derived from I sub S equals PRT. Okay? So let's solve. So using this information in the first row, so we have R equals 3000 over 20,000 times 3. So the rate is 0 0.05 or 5%. In the second row, our unknown is the interest. So, use the formula. I sub S equals PRT. So, principal, 75,000. The rate is 6%, 0 0.06. The time is 9. Okay, so, we have here. Multiply them. So, I sub S is equal to 40,500. Okay, in the third row, we have the unknown of the principal. So, the rate is 5%. Time is 10 years in the interest is 20,000. Okay, so we need to find that. So the R formula is P equals I sub S over RT. Okay, so substitute the following information in the third row. So we have P equals 20,000 over 0 0.05 times 10. Okay, and lastly, P is equal to 40,000. Okay, and last row we have the unknown of the time. So, our formula for this is T equals I sub S over PR. Okay? Substitute the informations. So, we have T equals 50,000 over 200,000 times 10. So, time is 2.5 years. Okay? So, we can see that in order for us to find different unknowns, we need to derive the formula I sub S equals PRT depending on what unknown we need to find. Okay? So, next one is the maturity or future value. So, this is the totality. So, the principal added the interest. Okay. So, F, F equals P plus I sub S. So, F is the maturity or future value. P is the principal and I sub S is the simple interest. So, substitute I sub S by PRT since I sub S equals PRT. So, we have... F equals P plus PRT, then factor out P, so we have F equals P times 1 plus RT, okay? So, this is the formula for the maturity value, okay? Okay, so we have this problem, what is the maturity value if 500,000 is deposited in a bank at an annual simple interest rate of 7% after 5 years, okay? So, we have the time, 5 so, simple interest is given by method 1. So, first solve for the annual interest. Okay. So, we have I sub S equals PRT. So, I sub S is equal to 500,000. So, the principal amount. 0 0.07, the rate. And 5 for the time or term. Okay. So, I sub S equals 175,000. Okay. So, then... Solve for the maturity or future value given by F equals P plus I sub S. So, we need to add the principal amount of 500,000 and the interest computed 175,000. So, add them. So, we had the maturity value of 675,000. So, method number 2, directly solve the future value of F. Okay, so we have the formula F equals P. P times 1 plus RT. So, 500,000 is the principal amount. One constant value. Rate 0 0.07. And the time is 5. So, solve this. So, we have 675,000 also. Okay? So, either method 1 or method 2 will do the calculation. Okay? So, method 1 again is we need to compute first for the interest then add it to the principal amount. Method 2, as you can see in this slide, we just directly solve the value of F using this formula. Okay. So, next one is the compound interest. So, when the interest due at the end of the certain period is added to the principal and that sum is earned interest. Okay. So, this is compounded, no? Unlike the simple one. Okay. So, we have the formula for the compound interest. So, the maturity value and compound interest, F equals P times 1 plus R over N, raised to NT. Okay, so the principal 
P is the principal or the present value. F is the maturity or future value at the end of the term. R for the interest rate. T, term or time in years. And N is the compounding times per year. Okay? So, either semi-annually, annually, quarterly, or monthly. So, we have here the compounding period and the number of compounding periods. Okay? So, for annually, so we have only one since annually is per year. So, we have only one year per year. Okay? Now, semi-annually, so 6 months, so we have 2 since 6 months plus 6 months is 12 months, which is 1 year. So, we have 2. And quarterly, so we have 4 quarters in a year. So, when we say quarterly, it is every 3 months. Okay? So, 3 months. So, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So, we have 4 quarter in a year. And monthly, so we have 12. So, the compound interest I see is given by, so, F minus P. So, the maturity value minus the principal. Okay? So, what is the maturity value in the compound interest if 70,000 is compounded annually at an interest rate of 8.5% in 9 years? Okay? So, first, we need to find the information. So, we have 70,000 as the principal amount. 8.5% or 0 0.085 as the rate so we have nine years as our time and one as our compounding period since we have here annually okay so find the maturity value first and next find the compound interest so for the maturity value we have the formula p times one plus r over n raised to nt okay so substitute the informations we have f equals seventy thousand times 1 plus 0 0.085 over 1 raised to 9 times 1. So we have the maturity value of 145,869.8995. Okay. So this is the maturity value. In order for us to find a simple interest, we just need to subtract the principal amount to this maturity value. Okay. So we have I C equals F minus P. So, 145,869.8995 minus 70,000. So, we have the compound interest of 75,869.8995. So, the future value is 145,869.90 and the compound interest is 75,869.90. So, what is the amount must be invested in order to have 128,000 376.52 after 8 years if the money worth 6% compounded semi-annually. Okay, so in this one, we need to find the principal amount of money. Okay, so we have the informations. The principal is unknown. The rate is 6% or 0 0.06. The time is 8 years and the compounding period is 2 since it is semi-annual. Okay, and the maturity value we have 128,000. 376.52 Okay, so using the formula So, F equals P times 1 plus R over N raised to NT So, substitute directly the values So, we have 128,376.52 Equals P times 1 plus 0 0.06 Over 2 Raised to 8 times 2 Okay, so simplify So, we have P equals 128,376.52 over 1 plus 0 0.06 over 2 raised to 8 times 2. Okay, so the principal amount is 80,000 pesos. Okay, so therefore, the principal amount should be 80,000 pesos to obtain this amount. Okay.